what is in demand and what is not? That is the big question you need to find your own answer to. How do you find what pictures are in demand, what kind of pictures are going to sell well, and what pictures are just waste of your time uploading? First, keep in mind the four pillars of success. Suck, C-U-Q-Q. -Q. Remember what the four pillars are? C, creativity, U, usability, quality, and quantity. In this video, we'll be focusing on the creativity part the most. So, how can you find something that is creative, that stands out, but also something that's in demand with the customers? Well, the demand part, you can use multiple tools for finding out what that is. A uh, good place to start is just go to the agency's landing pages. So type in shutterstock.com for example. They showcase a lot of photos there and by the nature of it, these are the photos that people enjoy, the people buy and that Shutterstock wants to show people so they buy again. So press photos here. Here we have uh, multiple categories of photos, popular searches such as sky, background, business, beach, food. Good thing to do is just spend some time clicking through these, exploring, looking at what the popular searches are, just to get in your mind what are the popular topics, the topics that sell well, what are the images that people want to buy and are buying a lot. Background images are a good example of this. You can see here that the word background is the second most searched. Uh, not to mention that background images can be quite easy to take. Backgrounds. Let's take a look at some background pictures we've got right here. So these would be the blurry blurry images, images of uh, walls, of some of some patterns. Um, images that can serve as backgrounds for uh, many, many different projects. The, here the keyword from our CUQQ is the usability. Backgrounds are very flexible. They can be used for many different purposes and they're very adaptable for the project your customer might be working on. Browse through these images and get try to get the feel, the nature of the look of the image. Pictures with people in it are very popular. Pictures that just pop up, pictures that are colorful, engaging, that bring you in. Bright colors used to be very popular. These days, recently I've noticed that the faded look of the image is very popular as well. The vintage look, as you might want to call it. So my suggestion for this is keep your eyes open, browse what pictures are popular, get inspired, but don't copy, and don't compromise your own personal style over what you think will be a good selling style of your images. So if you have a personal refined style, stick to that. There's always buyers for what you have to offer. Also think of how these images are going to be used. They're going to end up in uh, billboards, magazines, advertisements, websites, videos, many different uses. So look at these. Browse magazines and try to get the feel of what do the pictures there have in common? What, uh, what is their nature? What is the feeling you get from them? Observe the lighting effects there. Observe. Another good thing is subscribe to agencies, Facebook, streams, Instagrams. And by doing this, you'll be constantly in touch with uh, trendy images, new images, while selling images. And they will just get under your skin, you will get a feel for what makes a good selling image over time. All these, of course, depend on how serious you want to be with uh, 
online licensing of your photos. If it's just a fun set it and forget it project for you, then you don't need to really care about what kind of images sell well. If money is not what you're after here, just select the images you like best, select from the images you already have, attach keywords, upload, submit, and wait for the money to come. The worst that can happen is that people will not buy your images, but there is no harm done and at least you gave it a try. If your goal is to generate money and to generate more and more and more money over time with your photos, you might want to focus on what makes a good image. And by good, I mean one that sells well. Pick what attributes these are and try to replicate them in your own photographs. I have two extra recommendations for this topic. The first one is the peak niche tool. Uh, now what this does, if you just type in peak niche, feel free to use the link provided next to this video. Uh, when you type it in, it takes you to this page. Peak niche is a stock photo research tool that you can use for free and it provides fantastic value for people who are trying to find out what sells well, what is in demand, and also for people who are trying to find their niche, their theme, their topic that is not well covered, but has very good sales potential. So let, let's just demonstrate with the word um, background. We saw that background is a very popular keyword. And we can see that there are millions and millions images tagged with the background. Uh, what's interesting for you here is the final rating, which in this case is zero. What does zero mean? Zero is not a good thing. It either means that nobody searches for the image or it means that the category is overcrowded with images. So your chances of getting good sales there are quite slim. Let's try something more specific, such as skiing. So for skiing, we see that there is uh, much less images that there are images for background. And the final rating is 1.3, which is better than zero, but still quite low. The higher the rating, the better. Uh, ratings for areas that could be considered a niche areas are above 20, 50 or even 100. So the higher rating keyword you can find for yourself, the better it is for you, the higher chances there are for you that you'll be able to dominate this topic with your pictures, to, be, to become the author of the best selling image within the category. Usually the more specific you get, the, the better the rating gets. So let's take a look at something related to skiing, but more specific ski boot. Now we're talking some real numbers. Here the rating is 27. And let me show you why I wanted to show you ski boots. You can see that the rating of this uh, keyword is quite high. Let's just get back to Shutterstock and search for ski boots here. And what you see is bunch of images of ski boots and the first image that pops out is I'm proud to say that taken by me I'm not saying I'm not showing you this to brag I'm showing you this to illustrate what I'm trying to show you is that the pick niche tool can be a very useful tool to find your own niche for your pictures so go ahead try find something that has very high rating try to get over 50 try to get over 100 there is one extra way how to get the feeling of what makes a good selling photo under your skin, how to make yourself comfortable with recognizing what makes a good selling photo. And we'll be covering this specific tool in the following video. The activity for today, the activity for this video for you is uh, use the pick niche tool and try to find three keywords, three areas, three topics 
that generate a rating of at least 50. And once you do this, I'll ask you to share your results and your experience with using Picnish tool in the Q&A of this video. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.